Sapphire 3 from Crystal Vision, a modular real-time chroma keyer for 3G, HD and SD sources. Ideal for any live virtual production from studio to sport, including numerous enhanced features to create realistic effects with video delay and color correction. Sapphire 3 is able to easily create a realistic composite from even the most challenging of foreground pictures. Sapphire 3 can be controlled from a Sapphire 3 controller or by the web browser based Vision Web Control as can be seen here. This is a repeating loop of a typical foreground image. Here the subject is sitting in front of a green backdrop that will be replaced with a new background. Sapphire 3 has controls that manage all aspects of the chroma key process. These controls can be set manually or automatically using the Auto Setup multi-point sampling feature. Auto Setup uses up to 12 samples from the backdrop area and up to 4 samples from the foreground to automatically adjust Sapphire to its optimum settings. When a sample is selected for positioning, it flashes. All samples can be moved horizontally and vertically. The foreground picture can be frozen to make sample positioning easier. Sapphire 3 has a number of enhanced features such as lighting compensation which allows for variations in lighting intensity across the backdrop and respill which tints any areas coloured by backdrop reflections to create a more realistic effect. These two can be set automatically by the auto setup feature. The safety margin control minimises the effects on samples from a noisy picture. With good lighting and backdrop quality, these are the only controls needed to create a realistic composite image, retaining transparency and fine detail such as hair. To create this high quality result, Sapphire 3 uses foreground suppression techniques to remove the chroma key colour from the backdrop. Sapphire 3 has two video outputs, main and auxiliary. Any of the video inputs can be routed to either output. If we look at the keyed foreground output, we can see here that all backdrop colours have been suppressed to black. If we look at the output key video, we can see the key shape that will cut a hole in the new background video. The keyed background video is added to the suppressed foreground to form a new realistic composite image without the artifacts normally associated with multiplicative chroma keying. Let's look in more detail at some of Sapphire 3's controls, many of which are set automatically by the Auto Setup feature. Firstly, the Gain and Spill tab. Max and Min clip controls provide lift and gain of the generated key signal to help remove irregularities. The chroma key and foreground acceptance controls select the range of colours used to generate the background chroma key and the foreground suppression algorithm. The wider the angle, the greater the range of foreground colours affected. These controls should normally be set to as small a value as possible. The suppression control controls the amount of luminance removed from the foreground signal to leave an even black in the backdrop areas. Some sources that are badly lit, heavily shadowed or have poor quality backdrops may require manual fine tuning. And monitoring the intermediate processes can often help aid the setup process. For example, if we monitor the suppressed foreground picture and adjust the luminance suppression away from optimum, we can more clearly see any remnants of the green screen on the subject's hair that may not be obvious in the composite picture. By adjusting the foreground acceptance control we can remove all traces of green without unduly affecting the colour of the green leaves in the vase. These controls attenuate the background key and foreground areas of black, white or grey. 
This is used to remove unwanted keying where the backdrop colour has reflected onto foreground objects. We can see the effect by viewing the key output of a more challenging source. Edge size subtly alters the key shape for a more realistic result. This control changes the appearance of shadows, making them appear more or less prominent. The key shrink control helps minimize the black halo often seen round a subject by shrinking the chroma key size. The key and suppression hue controls set the colour used by the chroma key and foreground suppression circuitry. These controls are independent, but are usually set to the same value. Lighting compensation compensates for irregular backdrop lighting. Looking at the key output video, we can see the effect of this control. Use the lift, gain and chroma controls to modify the foreground video signal so it matches the keyed background in the final composite. These controls modify the background video signal so it matches the keyed background area in the final composite and to compensate for any residual luminance from the suppressed foreground picture. These controls adjust the individual red, green and blue gains and lifts of the suppressed foreground signal to produce a more realistic or artistic effect. In the Keys and Mask tab, we see the controls for the external key, external mask and self key. Instead of chroma keying, the luminance of the foreground picture can be used to generate a linear key that cuts a hole into the background picture that can be filled with itself or a colour mat. The clip controls alter the lift and gain of the generated key. The external key input can be configured to override the chroma key to force the foreground video. This is particularly useful in sporting events to prevent unwanted chroma keying on the grass, the crowd or trees, limiting chroma keying to the area of the logo only. The external key can be assigned as a mask to force the background video. This can be used to bring architectural objects such as pillars to the foreground so actors appear to be behind them. This key shape, used as a mask, will force the balls to the front when enabled. Internal mask generators allow override of the chroma key to force either the foreground or background video. These can be used to force keying in an area where the colour backdrop doesn't extend to or to prevent keying in unwanted areas. From reflective objects for instance, the mask can have varying amounts of softness applied to minimise their visibility. Key signals can be faded up and down manually or timed. Or the video output faded to black. In the Delay and Timing tab we can set the Genlock source. Delay the output video with respect to the reference. And set delays of up to 10 frames for all three inputs. These are just some of Sapphire 3's features. For more information, please contact Crystal Vision or visit the website www.crystalvision.tv.